What's up guys, everybody, and welcome to the 31st episode of the Nobs FC Career Mode. Thank you guys so much for the support on the latest episode. After the Milan Career Modes that obviously are one of the most popular on my channel, this was actually the most viewed video in the last 24 hours other than the other Nobs FC Career Mode. So it's doing even better every single episode we actually have. And I'm so thankful for you guys. And you guys want to see this team from from all the way from the bottom all the way to the top and if you guys are actually new around there why not consider subscribing it's absolutely free i actually told you that last time hopefully you guys see it you'd like to see more of this and you guys stay for the foreseeable future let's take a look at some of the offers we've actually gotten we've gotten an offer for vice and then 230k he's been playing a lot better this season and i'm really happy about that so i'm gonna be rejecting it but uh, i actually negotiated 140,000 with crawl Town. Now, last episode, we did put Odunze on the transfer list. I think this is going to be a good way to make ourselves some profit this season. And who knows, maybe make a signing before the end of deadline day. Or we can actually save that one signing we have remaining for the January transfer window. Because as you know, obviously, it's mostly youth academy based with the signings being once or twice every single season. So maybe a pre-contract signing would be great. I just realized that Malai went to Coventry City, who are up in the championship. I don't know why they're looking for a 53 rated goal keeper but if Odunze leaves we might pull him back from his loan we probably have to pay obviously but we're gonna pull him back from his loan and he can be back up to I'm assuming Al Sharani now Zeroal is actually better suited as a center back but if you take a look at his height he's five foot ten now because he did get a height increase he can actually grow a little bit more till the age of 19 so that's actually good for him I'm gonna be training him as a center back and who knows maybe he can be like a sweeper he doesn't I don't know maybe he could be in the midfield and he drops in between which makes the fullbacks go up which is usually how I play so that might be a way to actually go with ZOL but I've put his development plan as a center back I've also changed the development plans of Al Sharani I put him on more of a well goalkeeper growth plan so he can get those reflexes and that diving up because right now his handling kicking and positioning were going up so I decided to change that I think I might change somebody like Ali Koi Okay. Maybe passing, maybe even defending. Make those defensive stats go up, but then he's going to have high, high work rates, which... I'm pretty sure would be good for him. It's going to make his strength go up. Aggression, defensive awareness, stand tackling, heading accuracy, and that's pretty much it. I've updated the shortlist with some of the players I've seen from the last episode. I've updated the scouting list, so once we get to those countries that we can scout, we can scout them. I may be looking for either Lance Cairns or Kai Scone to actually go out on loan this season. Cairns, we're going to continue to give him, you know, more game time because I feel like he's not up the standard of what i'd actually like to see from him he's tall he's strong he should be getting in there but he just isn't playing that well this season or hasn't been playing that well since maybe we moved him really just trying to find some confidence for lance cairns as you guys know he scored one of the greatest goals of this series already but we have some players on the short list i'd love to see if i could get Troy Pirate in for loan from Spurs. It would be great from the Premier League down to League One. We also have a couple of other players added to the short list. Ampadu is one. Now we have Tom Delap from Inter Milan. This is a regenerated player. We're scouting them. We're trying to see what these guys actually turn out to be. Marsh, we tried a loan. Loans just never seem to work in this, but I'm going to try them out. Salford City, EFL Cup, and I'd like to see if they actually got promoted. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they're still down oh no they actually did get promoted but are having a rough time a victory two draws two losses but this one is in the efl cup we're up in 13th place let's try to start off with a big victory we could have honestly all the players that i'd like to bring in are already on the substitutes we could maybe start kai scone on the right hand side maybe i think that's what i'm gonna do as a right winger he seems to increase let's do that let's give these guys a start nishimura still there we always do need him and this is our lineup against salford who got themselves some tired players here yeah when arneson actually played last episode in the cup he did very very well <laughs> i'm telling you he's decreasing and he's decreasing and he's retiring at the end of the season but his performances showed that he can still keep up maybe in the fl cup maybe he can play against the bottom half of the table teams we're gonna need depth this season and he is gonna stay here see out his contract see out his career at nobs fc 
And we'll see about what happens with Danny Rowe. If I feel like maybe he's doing so, so well, we can keep him for another season. He doesn't really have to retire. He's only 32 years old, going on 33. So, I don't know. Maybe he just wants to call it quits a little bit earlier than usual. I don't know. Let's focus on this game right now as Cairns is going to start at striker. Nishimura trying to get him in. Avoids the sliding challenge. Cairns. That might actually be a red card for Salford. That is going to be a red card for Salford. As the referee reaches into his pocket, Jordan Turnbull, red card for Salford City. He was through. They tried to take him down. They did. And that's going to be a red card. Free kick from very far away. Right now, our best free kick taker on the pitch is Nishimura. And we're actually going to have him stand a little bit further away. See if he can, I don't know, curl this one in. Take it all the way out wide and bring it back in as Nishimura going to try. Going to try. Doesn't curl enough. Good intent. We timed it right. They're down to 10 men. Might be a little bit easier for us. Azeroal getting a good interception. We're going to look to outnumber them at all times, guys. This shouldn't be a tough game from here on out. Arneson still doing so well. Tunjov. What's too much on that? We have nowhere to go. Lance Cairns. Get in behind Kaito. That's a great ball. He's onside. Yes, he is. As Kaito Mori now looking to drop it inside. Georgi Tunjov. Good dribbling by Tunjov. Finds Cairns just trying to take himself a shot. And now they went a little bit tighter defensively. And we can't seem to break them down now. Tun That's Weissen and what a good challenge. Getting that ball back. And we can't stay on it. Kaito. Nice block, Zeroal. Still so many in the box. And then when we counter, they're somehow going to magically get back. Arneson. That's yours, Weissanen. Nicely done by Weissanen. Cairns, he's going to find Kaito instead. This is it, guys. This has to be it. We can't waste this attack. As Kaito Mori just breaking down that wing. Just breaking down that wing. Kaito. Couldn't pass it in. There was a guy there. And Kaito Mori just elected to shoot. Got ourselves another corner. Cairns is there. Can he get to the header? Please. Yes. Okay. That definitely took a touch off the other defender. Cairns now. Gonna look for him once again. If he can find it, it's not gonna find him. Go Zeroal. Lovely by Zeroal. What a guy, man. Solid. Playing his first game as a center back. Gonna develop there. Maybe his height might be an issue. But it's okay. Kaito Mori now. Kaito into Cairns. Dropping back Cairns. Has Nishimura. He's in behind. That's a great ball by Lance Cairns. And it's Tomohito scoring. Did you expect it to be anybody else? Either assisting or scoring all the time. I don't know how many assists this guy has from the beginning. I, I said I was going to do like a sheet. Marking down everything from the beginning to the end. But it's just too much work. I hope you guys do understand. But I know that Nishimura has had like 15 or 10 plus assists every season. And he's starting off so well here. Gets the goal. Sulfur. They were down to 10 men. It's really starting to show now. First goal in the Carabao Cup. And we take the lead 1-0. Not a good pass by Zeroal. Watch the pass in behind. El Sharani going to come up big. Lovely by El Sharani. That's why you need your goalkeeper. Get in behind Kai Scone. You've got the speed to get there. Good. Play by Kai Scone into the box. Scone going to try to hit it. Should have just passed it across. Mistakes were made. Once again, another corner for Nobs FC. Looking to find somebody's head. Tunjov is there. Arneson is there. It's going to come down to none of them. As Baker now picks up. Good header. Nishimura's about to come off. Same thing with Baker. Nishimura. Kai Skone. Let's hit a shot, Kai Skone. Let's hit a shot, Kai Skone. Why not? Uh, why did Roman Scott not even go for the ball there? I'll never understand this game. Toure. Cross coming in. Al Sharani. Needs to get there. Why is he taking forever to get there? Koiki with the block. Stop trying to give them this game. Look at the amount of rebounds. Like, yay, man. Please. Al Sharani kicks it down the field. Referee blow the whistle. Andrade. Hawkins. Roman Scott, the interception. Blow the whistle now. Stop trying to give them the game. 2-1 victory into the next round. Let's even try giving Kai Skone a right winger position. Gonna get that speed up, passing. It's only gonna take about two weeks, so he can play on the right-hand side, which would be great for him. Means he can get a lot more games helping out Alex Allen, because right now, Alex Allen doesn't really have himself a backup. 
Gillingham coming up next and <laughs> Gillingham were one of the teams down in League 2 with us as well. We're going to need like our best defender. So that's why Butcher for this match is going to start as a center back with Williams. Roshan Williams. He's getting his second game here. We're going to go Jerome Watson, Nishimura, Alex Allen, Danny Rob Top, Ali Koiki, and Al Sharani in goal. Let's get Odunze off the bench. Let's get Lance Cairns who had himself such a fantastic game. We're going to reward him definitely with some playing time if we absolutely do need him. Coast Motors Arena, let's try to cause a massive upset against the first place side. I'm also starting to work on maybe some new banners, maybe some new flags for the crowd as well. Maybe you can get some players onto those banners. Maybe they make banners of Nishimura, they make banners of... I don't know, Al Sharani, Alex Allen, but I'm going to try to work on something like that and just add some minor details to this series that you guys know I absolutely love. Best defensive team, Gillingham, only two goals against. We currently have six goals for, six goals against. We're conceding a lot, but hopefully with the stability of maybe Butcher and Williams, we can stop conceding so many goals. There's Danny Rowe. Let's see. If we could cause a big, big upset, like I said, Alex Allen's going to need a big game. Nishimura's going to need a big game. If we finish mid-table or even higher, it's going to be great for us. Butcher. It's going to definitely be a foul against Butcher there. That one takes a deflection. They're just trying to force it into our box and get around our defenders. But we're doing well right now. Not amazing, but we're doing well. Alex Allen receives the ball to his feet. Danny Rowe. Get open, guys. Nishimura. Now they track back, guys. Nishimura can find Danny. Good old up play by Danny Rowe. Georgi Tunjov getting behind Jerome Watson. Being closed down now. Just hit the shot, Jerome Watson. Did that take a deflection? I don't think so. Just didn't hit it that well. That was so close, Jerome Watson. It was curling in. That might be Samuel. That was from our academy, if I'm not mistaken. Willock, get the block, Butcher. Either way, Al Sharani makes the big save. Couldn't get there in time. Al Sharani with a big save. Now drilling him with the corner. That swimmed it to the box. Roshan Williams is there. Ah, such a good game on our hands here, guys. I love this. I absolutely love this. I'm having so much fun. Jackson, get there, Ali. Oh, he misses. Coyle, get there, Roshan. Oh, just missing out on that one. Al Sharani does what he has to do. Dempsey. Watch the ball that just splits the defense. Dempsey. Right back to him. Yes, of course, the one touch passing. I can't see where the ball is. And EA is always listening. I say I'm having fun, and then. Okay. Al Sharani beaten. Butcher and Williams just one. Back to him. Yeah. All right. Nice turn. Yes. Does. <laughs> okay. 1 0 down. Of course, he misplaces the pass because why not? Keep putting pressure, Weissen, and keep putting pressure, Roman Scott. Everybody, don't stop, man. They're going to go backwards, and you put the pressure. Look at that, Danny Rowe. Good intent by Danny Rowe. He gets it. Danny finds Zeroal. Zeroal just trying to take himself a shot. Finds Jerome Watson. Go. Yes. All right. Ah, he didn't get it, but it's better. Zeroal, great touch by Zeroal. Now Nishimura. Find that's Kai Scone. Scone outside the box, looking to hit the shot. Not enough power behind it. Can he find Cairns instead? Right back into Nishimura. Good touch by Nishimura. Has Zeroal. Zeroal now looking for somebody. Tomohiro. Somebody get in there. Somebody get in there. He goes down. It's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. Come on, guys. We couldn't capitalize on their mistakes all game. And now that is a blatant penalty referee pointing to the spot instantly and it's the skipper Danny Rowe I uh, he has to score this he had opportunities upon opportunities today and Danny Rowe let's go Danny let's go Danny no way that he's he goes to his spot and he gets saved and now Nishimura whipping in Roshan Williams with the header it goes wide when it's just not destined to be, it's not destined to be, guys. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Butcher, make it yours and stay on it. Nicely done by Butcher. Cairns, get there, Zeroal. Yes, he can, Zeroal. Nishimura, ball to Danny Rowe. Danny Rowe needs to... Yes, okay. <laughs> Mistakes 
upon mistakes, upon mistakes, upon mistakes, drilling and made. How are they in first place? Danny Rowe and then goes and celebrate in front of the, the traveling fans. Zero Al, what? Oh my God, Nishimura quick thinking. Danny Rowe, great finish by Danny. That's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw, 1,000%. 1,000%. Third goal for Danny Rowe. Referee blow the full-time whistle. I am so happy we actually escaped here with something. I would have been very frustrated with a loss because we deserved more. That's a 1-1 draw. Opportunities upon opportunities. And Danny Rowe gets the eventual equalizer. The Souza has been sold, 330k. The board has allocated us 250,000, I think. If we need to make a signing, it has to be somebody on loan. And you guys know that loans just never, ever seem to work for me. Jerome Watson could actually play as a, an attacking midfielder. He's got some good dribbling, ball control, maybe as a free roaming attacking midfielder. It can give him, I don't know, more opportunities here. We're gonna start Kaito on the left. We're gonna be starting Watson right behind Lance Cairns. Scone on that right hand side, Nishimura a little bit of a rest, Williams a little bit of a rest, and Butcher apparently with the captain's armband. I, I would go for Koiki, but he's not playing. Simonis and Nixon at the back, Odunze and goal. I think Butcher as the captain might be a good way to go. Exeter City, I think they might have gotten promoted with us into League One. Show them you don't want to be sold for profit, because sometimes you need to do that to stir up some funds and it'll really really help us out but he's not receiving any offers as of late so or we're gonna wait and see evaluate his position if he doesn't get sold if somebody comes in for him i think pulling back uh the ugandan goalkeeper from loan would be a good idea to help out al sharani he's only gonna grow up here and i don't know man sometimes it's this game that makes the goalkeepers terrible but Odunze, from the beginning, he's been so sporadic, sometimes making a big save, and then on the same play, you let in such a stupid goal. Let's break down Exeter City. Let's get ourselves a big victory here if we can. After that first one in the Carabao Cup, this is a completely different tournament. And let's see what happens here, boys. Yeah, that didn't go out. Okay. You make a lot of sense. Odunze, get there. No, he doesn't. Colin scores. 1-0 down. Jerome Watson now. Barker's going to take. Jerome Watson now. Get in behind Lance Cairns. That's a great ball to Lance Cairns now. Just inside the box. Looking to use a bit of skill. Great stuff by Lance Cairns. Hits the, sh the shot. Lance Cairns. That came so hot off of his foot. Hits it with like the toe. And it just continues to rise. The fake Rabona did everything right besides the finish. And you love to see it by Lance Cairns. You love to see it. Zero all. What a guy, man. He's got Cairns getting forward, but ZOL is going to take. Look at the strength by ZOL. Keep going, Kaito. Finds Lance Cairns instead. Now Cairns, good. Scoop turn by Lance Cairns. Get it behind Cairns. Either way, it doesn't matter because he can't finish. Kaito. Jerome Watson gets back up. Now Lance Cairns. Keep going, Kaito. Great ball. Kaito Mori, please. Come on, Kaito. Come on, Kaito. Come on, Kaito. That's in off the post. Come on, Kaito. That's in off the post. Lance Cairns with the assist. Kaito Mori with the goal. Hopefully getting back some of his confidence. And that's Lance Cairns. He's just showboating today. Fake Rabona. Scoop turns. Flare passes. Kaito, that's in off the post. And we're back in this one, guys. That is a good finish. Zeroal. What a challenge by Zeroal. Gets back that ball. Gives. And he's going to go, Kai Skone. Get in there, Kaito. Can he find him? Great. Oh, my God. Let's go. Kaito Mori with the goal this time. Kai Skone, what a cross. And Kaito makes no mistake off the volley. If maybe even Jerome Watson could play with him at the same time. These guys from our academy have done so well. Great cross by Kai Skone. Even better finish by Kaito Mori. Second goal for him in the EFL Trophy. And we took in the lead, guys. 71st minute. This is great, guys. There's an offside. Oh, are you kidding me with these injuries? Kai Skone now injured. Always. Watch wide. Tries to get it through. Exeter City. All they tried to do was injure our players. Our fans are going absolutely nuts. They scored a goal that maybe should have been avoided. But we got back through Kaito Mori with two very good goals. And I think... Cairns and Kai Skone with the assists. I'm loving how we played in this match. 
three points in the AFL trophy. Honestly, I, uh, no. <laughs> Kai Scone going to be out for three months. Three months for the young Welshman. I can't believe that. Baker's injured. Roman Scott is injured. And the on we have him. Oh, man, this is annoying. Save changes to the team sheet. Kai Scone injured. Deadline day on its way. There it is. Look at that offer. 4.3 million for Odunze. We're... Uh, he has a lot of potential, guys. I know that, but he just doesn't work for me in-game. We can maybe get a little bit more out of this, but 4.3 million for Odunze could help us out massively this season. It's always for the benefit of the club. Let's negotiate this with Watford. I... We need to do this. We absolutely need to do this. 4.6, 300k more. It'll put us at about like 5 million. Look, I can understand. Okay, so they're going to pay that. Maybe could have paid even more. But right now, this is what we need to do. Odunze, 4.6 million. I never thought we'd be getting that much out of him, but that's what they're going to be paying. Wait for him to get sold and then see what we're going to do. The saga between Odunze being loaned out, playing his games. He made a, a, like a couple of decent appearances throughout this whole series. But now we finally say goodbye to Odunze. Maybe for now. You never know what happens. But that's going to be perfect profit for us. Boa going to go ahead and accept it because our fullbacks are coming back soon. Roman Scott and Baker. So... We can just go ahead and accept that and look at that budget, guys. 4.79 million. I think it's going to be used up in January. Right now, what we need to do is upgrade our youth staff, our scouts as well. That's why we needed to do this because the first judgment start with 50k, 150k for the third. It's going to be 250k for the fourth and 350k for the fifth so if we want to actually upgrade them we need to pay a lot of money we're going to wait till these guys come back to actually do so it's going to help us out if we need to do contracts and odunze 4.6 million three point something allocated to us was a great piece of business guys yeah and it's like look look at all these loan offers i make uh, the loan offer for troy pirate was rejected though why? I don't know. Vigorito, he's never going to play ever in Fiorentina. Why are you rejecting it? Even if we try to go for Ampadu, we try to go for a loan at any point in time. When Wherever we are, it just never gets accepted. I, I don't know what to do, guys. Now, Bawa has been sold 100k to our budget. Smartest thing to do right now is leave the club the way it is. January, we reevaluate where we are. If we're going to need a pre-contract signing or somebody, if we're actually pushing for promotion by the time january comes somebody to even help us out to get that promotion which i know it's gonna be tough youth squad monthly report koiki transfer offer tunjov transfer offer you're too late and either way we weren't gonna go ahead and accept them kai scone is out for three months so we're gonna have to look at that I and mean, i'm just taking a look at the calendar we have wickham we have a bunch of games in September. We have a lot of midweek games is what, I, what I'm seeing from League 1, League 2, Championship, Salford City, Nobs FC. Let's pick up another big victory here if we can. Watson on the left, Danny Rowe up top. And then we have Cairns Kaito who had such a fantastic game. I expect so much more out of him and he's proving me that he wants to be here. Let's go Vaisanen. And Georgi Tunjov, so at least we have a little bit better defense. They're down in 20th place, so hopefully shouldn't be as hard. They got a red card last time. Arneson on the bench if we need him. This is going to be the lineup. Danny Rowe up top. And they have a full, like, fit team. So, yeah, going to be maybe a lot harder than last time. We're in mid-table, guys. It's exactly what I expected out of us. We have all these young players who are going to develop. And maybe next season come league one once again if we're still here you guys never know how the season goes if we just start getting into form picking up a couple of victories we could shoot up the table and salford right now just look like they're giving the ball away so quickly it's got to be yours williams i he was right there i don't know why i spammed the clear button and he just stood there that's what i'm talking about it's just this game sometimes williams gotta get to this one al sharani Grabbing. Nicely done, Ali. <laughs> okay. Nicely done, Tunjov. Now we get that ball. Jerome Watson finds Georgie Tunjov. Now Nishimura. Keep going, Tunjov. You guys need to make your runs, man. 
You're set to get him behind Danny Rowe. Why are you not making it? Now Nishimura, patience, finds Danny Rowe in the... Oh, what a finish, Danny Rowe. What a finish, Danny Rowe. Gets us going in the match. Hopefully, a sign of just... Just him not slowing down. Asante. Good block, Jerome Watson. Doing his defensive duties as well. Helping out Ali Koike, who loves to get forward. That just shows you the state of Salford. Just crashing into one another. And then Jerome Watson looks for Simonis, but it doesn't find him. Vison and needs to get this away quickly. Roshan Williams. Space opening up. There's Roman Scott now. Lovely fake. Alex Allen. Hasn't really got into these matches as of, uh, like, yet. It takes him a while. Danny Rowe now. Ball right to his feet. And Nishimura's gonna go. He's gonna take it because he has space. He had Jerome Watson getting forward. Danny Rowe gives. And he goes. And he's gonna continue going. Good passing between him and Tomo Ito. What a goal by Danny Rowe. That's number two this game. Nishimura and Danny Rowe. Can you name a more iconic duo? Back to Al Sharani. Al Sharani. Look what he's gonna do. Is he going to do the same thing? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to do the same thing he did in the playoff final. Armstrong. Williams is just bouncing off of him. And in tight space, he gets it away from danger. Al Sharani now can send to Alex Allen. Nicely done by Alex Allen. Danny Rowe. Good strength by Danny Rowe. Look at this guy, man. For a first half hat trick as Danny Rowe in the... I can't believe this guy. Great strength. Alex Allen, I don't even think he got a touch to the ball. It just landed for him. Got Danny Rowe. One thing on his mind this time. He's not laying it off. The strength by him. Beats the defender. Great finish. First half hat trick. Hey, buddy. What's up, Crash? He was just on the edge of the bed. You need to calm down. It's going to be a yellow card. Let's just stop them here. And the game is pretty much sealed unless we just have a disaster in the second half. Simonis, good header away. Asante, Koiki, get on him. Don't make the cross come in. He's going to go backwards, right? No, he actually does something smart and plays it in. Good block by Simonis. It's going to be a final minute corner in the first half. Crash wants to jump off of the bed. Crash, please, hold on. I'm going to get you. Ali Koiki's there. Get this away, guys. Vaisanen's there. Nishimura is there, putting himself there. It's 3-0 at halftime, guys. Can't ask for much more than this. Nice, Vaisanen. Great games from him, Vaisanen. Jerome Watson. Can Nishimura find him? Yes, he can. As Jerome Watson now. Just peel away from your defender. Nishimura's... <laughs> That's going to be an own goal. What is Sulphur doing? Should have stayed down in League 2. Jerome Watson whipping in the ball, looking for... Ni oh, that's an own goal if I've ever seen one. Goalkeeper can't even react to that. What do you want him to do? He passed it into his own goal. Nishimura had to do nothing. <laughs> that's going to be an own goal for Salford. Cross. Nixon. Good header by Hugh Nixon. Nishimura. Get in behind Cairns. You're supposed to get in behind Lance Cairns. You've got the speed now. Why didn't you start running earlier? Okay. He puts that pressure. Now Lance Cairns from Nishimura. Find Kaito. Being so unselfish. Good save. Kaito Mori looking for another goal. They're just nothing from them, Salford. Nothing from them, Salford City. That's going to be an emphatic 4-0 victory. Danny Rowe with a first half hat trick. And then they scored an own goal. Getting the match ball, Danny Rowe. Four attempts, three goals. Big way to end off the episode. And he rolled with a 10.0. Now, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the series, I said for a 10.0, you actually do get an upgrade, but... I'm not certain about that. Danny Rowe could be my player of the episode, but in the three games that he played, ZOL was a monster. So ZOL is going to be my player of the episode. That's one of three that he can potentially get this season. Let's go give ZOL some upgrades. See, we can keep getting some transfer offers along the way. The Egyptian Khaled Ahmed, 220,000 for his services. That is going to go through come January. I don't think I have any use for this guy right now. Alone could do him some good, but to get the money come January to really help us out, I can go ahead and accept that. Koiki from Rangers. I guess Steven Gerrard really, really does like him. Going to go ahead and reject it. Georgi Tunjov now playing so well and has become like a big, big part of our team this season. I'm happy to go ahead and just reject that as fast as I can. Up in 12th place now. Wickham coming up next, but that's going to be at the start of next episode. Let's take a look at the table. It's taking a while to load. Wickham is up in 
fifth place. Chillingham, we were able to get a point out of them. We always get points against teams in the top half of the table. 11 goals for 7 against Al Sharani. Maybe now that he doesn't have the Odunze saga to go on, who's the number one goalkeeper? He can just stay focused and continue to put in those big performances. Let's just give it to Zeroal. I think that's going to be the player of the episode. Massive three games he played. He didn't play in the last one, but I made up my mind. He is our player of the episode. He's going to be getting jumping, heading accuracy, and agility. So close to defensive awareness, but plus three in jumping, plus three in heading, plus three in agility, and that actually works out well for him because the jumping at 5'10", it's going to be fantastic for him, and I'm so happy about that for ZOL. And because of that position change, the rating change, he now has the status of showing great potential. Maybe big things coming out of Nadia Zeruel, the Tunisian center back now. Player with the most appearances right now is Alex Allen. No goals, no assists from Alex Allen. But he's playing his part. Nishimura with two goals, seven assists. Danny Rowe, six goals in eight games. Kaito Mori, two goals in seven games. Luka Moro actually has himself a goal for Bristol Rovers. Georgi Tunjov, Watson, Cairns with one goal each. Cairns a goal and two assists. I'm very, very happy about that. The second highest assist man in the team and the player with the most clean sheets is Nishimura Al Sharani I don't think has himself a clean sheet actually he does the last game and now he's up to a 60 so growing nicely hopefully hopefully can get back everybody to their best and we're in mid table guys exactly what I thought will happen Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, you can leave me a like down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.